The campaign season is here, and your vote can make a difference. Comcast brings you the candidates on demand right now. Hello, and thanks for joining us. I'm Joe Basicchia, and you're watching a special edition of Comcast Newsmakers. It's called Candidates on Demand. And this hour's newsmaker is Joseph Sinagra. He's the Republican Party candidate for assembly in the 18th legislative district. We're going to talk about his campaign. Good to see you, sir. How you doing, Joe? Good to see you. When we talk about the 18th district, the people you want to serve, how would you describe the 18th? Uh, the 18th district is a uh, largely working class, uh, compromises uh, South Plainfield, Edison, uh, uh, Metuchen, Helmetta, Spotswood, and uh, it, it's uh, a large working class. The uh, uh, response this year has been very good uh, compared to last year. When you think about those good people and when you're talking about responses, you go door to door, you, I could guess what the number one issue they're all saying because it's a big issue statewide. What is it? And uh, you guessed it, property taxes. Uh, that is probably the first question out of everybody's mouth. What are you going to do in Trenton? Uh, I'm going to work for the people in New Jersey. I'm tired of seeing the taxes uh, go up. Uh, uh, homeowners, they're, they're, there's about 20% of the population, 50% of their income is going towards their mortgage, their taxes, and their utilities. That's, that's phenomenal. People should not have to go through that. Uh, we've had 94 tax increases since 2001. Uh, 26 alone last year. We've collected over $6 billion in, in new revenue, and we still don't have any money. We've had a property tax rebate this year. Uh, it, it's an election year gimmick because next year we're not going to get that. Let's talk about small business because that's all part of the puzzle as well. As those boats, all the boats in the harbor rise, the whole tide goes with it. All the boats do. Uh, how important is it to keep your eye on small business when you go to Trenton? Small business, I don't know how many people realize it, the small business employ the bulk of the people in New Jersey. Small business, when the economy goes south, small business is what keeps us above water. Uh, there's too much red tape with business. There's too much government. Uh, we need to lessen the restrictions on small business, make it easier to hire people, not, not place uh, more mandates on them. Let's talk about that economy, because there have been reports, maybe on the federal side, that we've been struggling. Uh, but we've been decent for a while. But New Jersey's economy has been struggling. Uh, what would you do when you get to Trenton to, to enhance the climate of the economy? We have to put money or more disposable income back into the pockets of the taxpayer. The more money you take out of their pockets, the less money they spend. The less money they spend, the less money you have going back into the economy. So as you say, with the focus of your campaign, much of it is going to be on taxes. Uh, and you're saying less is best, even though you do need funds to overcome our debt. Does it work together? If, if it's balanced right, I don't believe we need to tax or place new taxes upon the citizens in New Jersey. We have enough taxes already. It's just redistributed into the areas that we need them. Talk about state spending, because when I said we're in the debt, it's a fact that it's been happening, and state spending is a part of it. Uh, how do you approach it? Well, we keep hearing we need a new spending plan. And uh, I think we should take a different approach and look at it from the aspect that New Jersey needs a new savings plan. In that regard, it sounds like you're almost like the dad who's running a household because it's so important, or the mother. Uh, you know, you have to be careful not to overstep your means. And that's basically it. You have to live within your means. Uh, anybody that runs a household knows that if they're above their head, they have to start cutting. And that's what the state has to start doing. Why are you the choice for the people of the 18th? Why would you make the good choice? I run for Middlesex County Clerk. I ran for Congress last year. I know what's going on in New Jersey. I know what the taxpayers are going through. We've been through uh, probably over 6,000 doors already, going door to door. And it's tough to see people on the verge of losing their homes, uh, on trying to make their car payments. Uh, trying, trying to put food on the table. And uh, people are just tapped out. They don't have the money to give anymore. Well, it's good to have you here, of course. Best wishes for you. Thank you very much. Uh, this hour's newsmaker has been Joseph Sinagra. He is the Republican Party candidate for the Assembly in the 18th Legislative District. This has been a special edition of Comcast Newsmakers. It's called Candidates on Demand. It's exclusively on Comcast Cable. You can see all the candidates, by the way, when it best suits your schedule. All you have to do is go to the Get Local section of Comcast Digital's on-demand service, and that's October 15th right through Election Day.